the hard days on campus, uh, they're, they were trying. When there's hate week going on, you have the, the big wall full of you know misinformation. Um, you know, students come up and they, they ask you, say, you're Jewish, how do you hold yourself accountable for this? There were times on campus when I felt that my Jewish identity was being attacked. Delegitimization is a global strategy whose aim is to bring down the state of Israel and create an environment such that Israel does not have the right to exist. Our approach was to work with the administrators to understand how they viewed the challenges and how we could build positive programming together that was constructive, uh, dealt with difficult dialogues, and built bridges. One of the strategies of the Rose Project was to help build strong Jewish organizations on campus and also to help build Jewish leaders who really have strong Jewish identity and understand Israel advocacy. Henry and I believe in the Rose Project. We're helping students combat with education the problems with anti-Israeli feelings on all three campuses, Fullerton, Chapman, and UCI. Thanks to the Rose Project, I've been able to go to the APAC Policy Conference. I was able to implement it into our Halal program, presenting Israel in a different context than what our students think about it. In my fraternity, AAPI, I've been able to take a lot of what I learned and teach it to some of my brothers so that not only I could hold my ground in a debate about Israel, but everyone in my fraternity can. Coming into Chapman, I didn't really know how to talk about Israel. Having the first-hand experience to really be a part and to share my experiences with other students really reinforced my love for the Jewish people, the culture, and the state of Israel. The Rose Project has been an invaluable partner. We are grateful to them for providing us with the resources to have uh, an Israel Fellow going back to 2008 to be able to run a remarkable Israel festival celebrating Israel for the last five years. When we talk about Israel, it's not the government and it's not Israelis in general, but it's faces, it's people. That is the real benefit of having a Shaliyah on campus, to show the real face of Israelis. So Rose Project has been a great partner with Chabad at UCI ever since we arrived on campus. They have supported us specifically with certain programs like our sukkah on campus, our menorah lightings on campus. We brought down a Holocaust uh, survivor to speak for the students. Perhaps the best change that has occurred, the one that will have the greatest long-term impact, is the awareness and sensitivity of the issue by the administration. It made sense to develop academic ties between the University of California, Irvine, for example, and a number of Israeli universities. We have had two medical students from UCI visit Ben Gurion University. We are now bringing medical students from Ben Gurion University to UCI. I think UCI and Tel Aviv University in particular, but also the Israeli universities in general, make good partners because we have a community here that will be supportive of that partnership. Thanks to the Rose Project, there's a group of students on campus who are very well trained when it comes to Israel advocacy. And because of this, the students are able to come together and create programs that help educate the campus about what really happens in Israel. When I think back about my college experience, it's going to be how I found my Jewish identity at UCI. When we think about what changes have occurred on campus as a result of the Rose Project, we are seeing a more civil climate than we saw in the past, and I've seen the number of constructive dialogues and programs put forth by the administrators on campus, the level of community programming, the level of programs that enhance Jewish life and enhance educational learning for Jewish student leaders, those have all risen dramatically since the inception of the Rose Project.